Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for this luxury beauty haul. I've done a little online shopping. I have most of them here. Some are still coming in the mail, so depending on when they come, I will put them in if they make it in time for the video. Let's go ahead and start with this item by YSL. It is the Couture Color Clutch. It looks like a clutch, but it is indeed a palette. There are two different versions of this, the Paris and also this one, the Marrakesh. I feel like I have many of the colors that were in the Paris palette, but not like in this palette. So I thought this would be kind of fun to pick up. It is quite a hefty price tag on this. I feel like a lot of it was spent on the packaging though. Look at how gorgeous this is. I think you could actually convince someone that this was a clutch <laughs> if you didn't open it up in front of them because it is just so beautiful. I was taken with the packaging, but then the colors inside are just gorgeous. So of course, I will swatch all of those for you just so you can take a look and see what they look like, but there are 10 shades in here. It appears that they have different finishes as well. So get a nice little close up of that. I hope to do a few different looks with this palette, not just one. I actually have on one right now. So I'll be posting that one. I use mostly the cool colors, some warm. I would love to do an all warm as well. And I actually put um, one of the shades on my cheeks on top of my blush. It's not the only blush that I have, but I tried that out as well. I also picked this up by La Mer and I saw my friend Abby Bliss White use this and it was either in her comment section or she may have said it that this is not actually a new product. It is new packaging as well as a greater range of shades. And I went on to the La Mer website. I chatted with one of their representatives. She confirmed, yes, indeed, this is the same formula, but there are more shades. And I tried to pinpoint which ones were the new shades, but she wasn't actually able to tell me that because she said they did not have them in yet, which I thought was interesting because places like Nordstrom and I think Sephora already have them in. Um, I picked mine up in medium. I was looking at the one above this and I thought, okay, that would be the one I would traditionally pick, but I picked this one and I'm just gonna swatch it here. And I'm not sure, it looks deep, doesn't it? Gosh, I wonder if I should have gone lighter. Another reason why I feel like I should have gone lighter is because I also asked the representative. Um, this was after I purchased this though. I did let her know I wear buff in their foundation and what shade would she suggest? and she suggested light. And I thought, oh great, that's not the one that I picked. I picked medium. So we will try this on as well and see how this goes. Abby said I only needed a thin layer because I told her I think I picked the wrong shade. And she said, you only need a thin layer, so it might work. So we'll try that out as well. But I like the way it feels. It's kind of drying down in a way that my other skin tints don't do. So that's really kind of an interesting finish. So I'm liking that about it already. Oh, I also saw these come by the um, Prisma Libra, the these Givenchy powders that have the four shades in them. So I know that this is not a new product to them. In fact, I think it's a bestseller in Asia, but I was looking at the shades and I feel like I'm the in-between person. So if you are my coloring, you know what I'm talking about. I can never decide which shade to pick. So I picked four because I thought that's like a lighter medium, um, which is kind of the way I've been going. So there's a little puff in here, by the way. Um, so I picked up number four. I wasn't sure about these colors here. So I don't know. I usually pluck out lavender colored things like in the Guerlain meteorites, I take those out um, and also green. So I liked these shades though. Um, and I thought it was a nice kind of range for me, but again, I wasn't sure about these. When I looked at the number five, I thought, well, those are shades that I like. And if this was a little bit lighter, it would be good. So instead of just wondering and picking the wrong shade like I normally do, I, like with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzes, I picked up medium. I really should have picked up medium and tan just so I could show you. So I thought about it this time and I did pick up number five as well. So if you're wondering and you're not sure because it's hard to tell because I like the tones in here, but then I wonder, is this too rich for me, like this shade. Like I wonder if these shades would have done it for me. I don't know. So I guess there's a way, I guess I could plug up some of the holes, couldn't I? I just thought of that. I could leave the tape in place, couldn't I? And just take the colors I want out. Kind of like Guerlain Meteorites, you just take out the colors you don't want. Oh, I should have thought of that, oh well. Okay, well we're gonna test these <laughs> side by side. It's funny when I talk out loud, the ideas that come that didn't come to me in the first place, but I want to say that don't these look like 
These peach shades look kind of similar, like this one and this one. Don't they kind of look the same? Are those the same color? And are these the same? No, these are a little bit different. Oh, are they the same? I may have bought the, like these look the same too. I mean, <laughs> I may have purchased these both for the same reason because I liked these colors in here and I also liked these colors in here. And I wonder now, are they the same color? Oh my goodness. Well, we're gonna try them <laughs> and I will let you know. And so we'll try them side by side. So if you're wondering like me, which one's going to be better for you, we can test them side by side. I'm gonna start doing that. So I'll pick up two that I'm considering and then we'll be able to tell which one is better. And then hopefully that will help you as well instead of me ending up saying, this was the wrong shade. I should have gotten the other one, but I'm not sure because I don't have it. That way I can test them both for you. <laughs> if you watched my vlog, you've already seen this, but I know some of you don't like the vlogs and that's okay. But I did want to let you know, I picked up the Pat McGrath, the Divine Rose 2. Yes, I think that's what this is called. I don't know all of the names. I get very confused, but this is the newest one and this is just gorgeous as well. It like, looks like a lacquered box. It's really like, it's really nice. It is really beautiful packaging. Some of the most beautiful packaging I have, um, but I just was so taken in by the colors in here. So especially this one right here, yeah, depending on the angle, it's a different color. So there it's green and then it turns to like a pink and then it turns to a purple. It's just, can't wait to play around with this. So I have a couple of colorful palettes to play with, which I think is perfect for the summer. And I am doing more videos. So I don't collect as many eyeshadow palettes. I don't know why. I find that I tend to pick up face products like um, concealers, foundation, skin tints, powders, blushes, those kinds of things. And then eyeshadow palettes are kind of like the thing I don't pick up as much. I feel like because I can't use them as much as I use actually use up the products. Maybe that's why. But I'm glad to have both of these. I will be playing around with both of these and doing some kind of different kinds of things, um, but in a way that's wearable. I mean, like this one is different, but I think it's still wearable. And then I picked this up. So I love the Sizzly SPF stick, but it has color to it. So it does transfer onto other things like my swim cap and my goggles. So I do use it for swimming. So I wanted to find a stick because I like that stick form, especially for when I actually go in the water. Um, so I found this Shiseido clear stick UV protector SPF 50 plus, and it's wet force where it actually becomes more powerful when it comes in contact with water or something um, like perspiration or things like that and it's clear so for those of us who are um, always thinking about is it going to leave a white cast this one's not supposed to leave one you can apply it under makeup and also over makeup which is actually what I do with a sizzly because I'll do a video like this and then I want to go out and swim but I'm not taking off all my makeup this one you can put over makeup as well and so we'll try it and see how it is over makeup and if it ruins it. Actually, right after this video, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and just to see what it looks like. So that'll be kind of an interesting product. Let me know if you have this. If you like it, I'd love to know. I have a couple more things coming in the mail. Speaking of not knowing the shade to pick, so you may have seen Gucci released some bronzers. They were on Sephora and I picked two shades. So I picked, I think medium and tan this time. And I also picked up their lipsticks. So I will try those both side by side for you when I feature that video. Um, but I need to pick up the lipstick. I don't know what makes it so special. I put it in my stories and some of you laughed because I just picked it because I was interested in like, what is this one thing that's featured? It was like one color. So I don't know <laughs> what's special about it, but we will try it as well. Um, but it did look pretty. So the Gucci packaging is exquisite. So I think that's why people buy, I mean, the product inside is good too, but the packaging alone is just so gorgeous. So um, I think people are picking it up for that as well. So I like to do these hauls just so you know what's coming up in the future in terms of subsequent videos. So subscribe if you aren't already. If you'd like to see those coming up, I would appreciate it. And that's it for today's video. So please take care of each other, stay well. And if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Thanks.